All right. Hey, uh, hey everybody. This is Out of Pocket uh, with Bad Boys. Uh, Rick Jones, Kenny Jones, Kobe Pilgrim, and the world-famous Mike D. Uh, we're here to talk about day three of the Moscone Cup. Uh, it was kind of brutal. There was, It was, you know, it was what it was. I guess uh, let's talk about it. Uh, what were your biggest impressions from day three, guys? Oh, I mean, there's a lot. Of, go ahead, Kobe. You go first this time. I talked too much already. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, you know, mental problems. <laughs> You it's know, got rid. Yeah, I just that's realized. cool. Pretty yeah, much, cool. you know, yeah, you miss some shit. It's in the hit. It's in the back behind you. Let it go. Move on. Um, I think we've all been. Yeah, around- uh, Earl definitely got in his own head. I would say. Yeah. Uh, that was unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He uh, he he looked like he was losing even before he lost. Unfortunately. Uh. It was a lot to ask of him to play three matches on day three. Well, I'm um, supposed to have to do that. Of course. No, I know. That's that's why I mentioned it. I mean, that was not planned on. Uh, right. So that's too bad. Um, but I would also, even having said that, I would have to say he started having problems before fatigue set in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he hadn't played that much when he started having problems. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was really sweet to see Shane and him talking I'm waiting to see on Facebook the memes of, you know, kind yeah. of poking fun at, at Shane comforting Earl. Uh, yeah. that I've seen a lot of Shane comforting Earl. I've also seen, and no offense to anybody, but I've seen Earl say things to both Oscar and Shane that gets the same reaction when someone older says something to you and you don't know what to say to them. You know what I mean? And you're just like, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, it just, well, yeah. yeah. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, for I like me, whole, I think I like the whole scenario where he's just looking at Shane. He's like, "That won't work," <laughs> and Shane just right. Yeah, but, right. but that that very moment, that very moment is is I think was the the beginning of his downfall for the day. I don't know. I think he recovered that because after that, when they sat down and the cameras were on him, and you could hear him talking. Yeah, but I mean, it, it kind of you know he argued with Shane. What and moment, yeah, they, Rick? What they moment? They ended up win, huh? What moment do you think it was? What when do you think when, it changed? When Shane told Earl to play the safety off the edge of the two. Yeah, I know what you're talking go about. The table and, and Earl bring the all around. Yeah. I think that was the beginning of Earl's downfall for the day. Yeah. Now, just to, uh, so I just want to make this point really clear. Yeah, Earl I I believe Earl absolutely cost him and Skyler their match. I do. He missed the eight ball, which was right there. Skyler got him perfect on the six. All he had to do was make the six, two rails around for the eight. They were going to be out, right? That would have been. He left great on the eight ball, too. He left him great on the eight ball. Yeah. 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 So, but that being said, I mean, it was real simple. It could have been U.S. up two games today, Even, even with Earl's misses. Right, yeah. and, and you're gonna miss. Yeah. I just think Earl just, com- you know, Earl got some bad rolls too, right? Like he broke, got hooked. Yep. But I'm telling you, dude, negativity breeds negative things. Yeah. Right. Yep. Of course. I think, of course. Yeah. I think if if you know, I mean, Tyler Steyer played perfect and lost, got beat bad because he couldn't make a ball on the break today. Yeah. He didn't miss a shot. That match drove me nutty. Yeah, didn't miss. He didn't miss a shot. He played. He got out of funk on the. He shot a combo and then another combo, and he had to shoot another combo and it got a little funky. Two combos and a jump shot to get out. But he played a perfect save, and he ended up winning that game. So any of the games that he mentioned, he had a jump shot that was a great jump shot too. Yeah, yeah, no, but for the win, really, that he got to shoot in today, he won. Right. But Al Katie played phenomenal. Phenomenal. I, I right? think a lot of Al Katie, man, he played really good, Rick. Uh, yeah. I, I, I hate to say I had no ID. He plays that good. But I mean, he has just been solid like a rock this whole time. My yeah. God, good for him. Yeah, you imagine the pressure on it. This is one thing I wanted to make a deal about is you know, there's a lot of people in the stands making a big deal 
if Al-Kady misses, you know, it's uh, well, Federer wouldn't have, where it wouldn't have missed that. Well, it, it's not David's fault. He's on the team. Like, has it well, no, and that's just out bullshit. of control. I, if if you if if somebody came up to you and said, win or lose, I'll pay you fifteen thousand dollars to play on this team, are you gonna be a complete dumbass and go, no man, give it to that guy over there? I mean, he's not gonna turn well, it down. They can only pick five guys. They can only pick yeah. five people every year. Yeah. There's gonna be people left out. Uh, right. You know what's his name's in the stand, dressed with no shirt on. Uh, Thorpe. Oh God, Billy Thorpe. Billy Thorpe. Yeah. Billy Thorpe's great on the team. He's not on the team. You know, I mean, yeah, you know. Yeah, He's no, I, I, I really guys. don't have any problem with anybody on the team, either team. I, I no. think it's I, I, honestly, yeah. dude. I'm I'm Kinda. rooting so hard for Earl to have the best event he can have, right? Yeah, this is probably the end for him. Right. Yeah. You know, and and he's shown moments of brilliance, but then when he when he did miss. It, it was at the worst time you could miss. And every time Amer- America needs to learn how to miss. Uh, every time, right? every time. Hold on, man. Out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're good. <laughs> you know, yeah. every time they miss, we're either hooked or we got a tough bank shot. Yeah, I'm just saying, we need, Team USA needs to learn how to miss. Right. Yeah. But. That being said, you know, he missed a couple of shots that it clearly I think he was the reason him and Skyler lost their doubles match. But really, that's one that's one point, guys. Right. Let it go and move on. I agree. Right? It, and, and we still could have been up two games today. Uh and Europe played great too. Europe Europe played really good. Seriously. Oh, yeah. You know, you, you gotta give it to them. Yeah. Yeah, I'd prefer not to actually. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. Want to do that. I'd rather not. Uh, I don't know anything about well, your coach. Do you guys know anything about your <laughs> Y'all are both pros up. Not much. Uh, I mean, he he was a great pool player. I mean, I've seen him beat. I like Jeremy Jones for us. Really? Huh? Yeah, there's videos on YouTube of him and Shane playing. Right. Well, yeah. you're, you know, you're, you were busy playing eight ball, nine ball. <laughs> uh, exactly. Yeah. No, I'm looking, I'm excited for tomorrow. I mean, we're down two games, but we're, the odds are we're supposed to be getting four on the wire anyway. So I, you know, I think we're doing all right. I think there's, you know, Tyler's. We lost oh, oh, he's he's now we're back. For now. All right. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I, I think <laughs> once they screwed up the schedule from yesterday, I, yeah. I really think I would have liked to have seen Oscar play a doubles today okay. instead of Earl playing three matches today. But I agree. I agree. We'll see. Yeah, good. I, I don't know what that means for tomorrow, though, right? Because, I mean, right. they have certain rules in play. Maybe that means Earl doesn't play tomorrow unless yeah. they go into a tiebreaker at the end. Right, right. Johan's right. got a real long post on his page that right. kind of goes more into that. I think we've probably seen most of Earl we're going to see. Right. And right. then it'll be oh, heavier sure. tomorrow. Well, yeah, no, I mean, that's sure my right, only Kobe critique out, with yeah. Earl. Really, my only critique of Earl is Shane's trying to keep him up. Shane's suggesting a shot. If you don't like the shot, obviously don't shoot it. But don't turn and tell the guy that's not going to work, right? I mean, that's just – you're just throwing negative back at your teammate. And then when he was playing with Oscar, he threw – you know, well, you should have done this. And when he was playing with Skyler, and Skyler gave him a perfect angle on that eight ball. <laughs> a, that was a perfect angle for Earl to just shoot the eight into the corner, come right up table, and he shanked it. And then he tells Skyler, "Well, you should have came all the way up table." I say on that one, I think you said, "I wish you had gone up table." Right, but it's still a negative. It's still a negative, dude. I mean, yeah, yeah. Just let it go, dude. You missed the shot. It happens. Everybody in this tournament has missed the shot. Right. It's it. The I think the problem that you have, Rick, and that I have, it's such clear deflection of responsibility that you just you just dogged a shot, man. Yeah. You know, you, you missed it, shot, let it go. You know? Yeah. 
But yeah. don't throw yeah, the I, negative I, at no. your teammate, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. Just, yeah. <laughs> with Skyler, much... it, doesn't, it doesn't seem to phase Skyler, but. And get around still... people like that. I really just, you know, either call suicide hotline or shut up and move on. Like, just <laughs> right. quit dragging it out. Jesus. Nobody wants to hear it. Well, I mean, yeah, he went on about that skidding ball for like two games. Ever. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And it, it really helped talking about it more, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it drives me crazy. Oh, yeah. It, it's God. Well, I'm an I'm a anti-negative guy anyway. Yeah. yeah. I would have already had that. Oh, that's something I've had to work that. on. I mean, because I've had that problem in the past, and it takes effort to not do that. Yeah. yeah now that I'm right. get around people that still do that, it's it it makes me want to call the hotline of myself just to get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, dude. Drama will hunt you down. You don't need yeah. to hang on to it, yeah, and you yeah. don't need to make fake drama. Especially, it will come get you. <laughs> Earl ain't got no problem with finding drama, it's like. Let this and go, little buddy. There'll be more down the road. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just stick around, Earl. It'll show up again. It'll yeah. be knocking yeah. on the door, It'll man. Yeah, going nowhere. <laughs> if it ain't here, be waiting at home when you get there. <laughs> uh, so it's wanted. five seven now. They're hoping to be done by Sunday. Is that correct? Well, tomorrow's it, man. Yeah, tomorrow's it. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Litman wanted to ask Ed if you thought the bigger shaft and tip size made a difference in the way he was shooting yeah absolutely for sure yeah yeah, yeah so <clears throat> back when i was learning to play pool and i was getting pretty good and then i started playing a lot of golf on a snooker table well then you know then i did some homework and it's like well the snooker players have longer cues and they have smaller tips on their cues and all that yep. stuff well me i have uh you guys can see see that right short <laughs> broken up hands right fat fingers so i i ordered from viking a, a pool stick that was about four inches longer and a 10 millimeter tip and then i played a lot of golf and i got really good at golf but then when i went back to the pool table I played with that cue for about another year and man, you got to hit it good. Right. Cause that, that tip will, but it helped me get my stroke really precise and, and everything line up really well. I think if you have a huge, huge tip, I think, I, yeah, I think it's going to affect how you play. I, I mean, Earl's been playing probably with a standard tip for 45 years. Then you move to a 15 millimeter tip and, and been playing with that for what a year, year and a half, I think he said. I think last year they said he was shooting with a 14 or a little over 14. So, right in the last right. year. So, I mean, the three shots that he absolutely shanked were shots that he, the eight ball, he, he's got a, a, a funny little, it's not a funny cut, but it's, it's a cut come up table. The right. six ball that cost him was to shoot it in the pocket, and he should have put side a little bit of draw, two rail out for the eight. If you go back and watch the video, he misses the six, and where the cue ball is headed, didn't leave Skylar a shot anyway, so he missed it right. that bad. I agree with you. I noticed um, that. And then there was the other shot he missed, and yeah, I I think it 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 could have been the fifteen millimeter tip. Yeah, but. Out of all the other shots he shot on this, are we going to really blame the arrow? I mean, he's made some pretty decent shots with the same equipment. Sure. So, sure. I mean, it just say he's human. But, he missed. but you, yeah, but you could say that. But if you, if you shoot with a stick that's that you're not used to, you'll make 80% of your shots and then you'll miss a couple. Right. I mean, it, it all, in, I, Mike D could tell you, he went from wood to carbon fiber. Right. No. I, I think Mike, my main point, my big point would be uh, any change is going to have a negative effect for a while. Someone asked me once, how long will it take you to get used to your cue? And I said, oh, about four or five years. And he yeah. said, huh? I said, well, I don't know what else to say, man. I mean, you want it to be like to where it's a part of my arm? Yeah, yeah man. I mean, I've had cues for a, 
years and years and years like that. And yeah, it's it's that's about what you're looking at. Now right. you should be able to run out and make balls, you know, pretty quickly. And after about six months, you should be playing pretty good with it. But yeah, you, you got a few years, honestly. Yeah, just the fact sure. Sure. it's also indicative of a problem that he's searching out a solution. It, nobody switches to a 15 uh, millimeter yeah, shaft yeah, or tip unless they're having some problems, right? right. Nobody's well, running rack yeah, after Earl's rack. Been chasing that, like chasing that. a problem for a long time, right. dude. And the, and the problem is getting right. older, right? Right. But, you know, I mean, look, look, everybody can say what they want to say about Earl. You can talk about his attitude. You can talk. But I will say this. Earl wants to win so bad so bad that he has changed his personality at this event yeah he is not the earl we've seen for the last no. 10 years yeah, dude. No. he's, he's not he looks like he a neutered is, pup yeah, yeah but he is Trust trying me so out. hard i don't know who yeah. sat with him and talked to him but god bless that person yeah because earl is he told jason to Shaw nice shooting after their match uh, yeah, no, yeah, I, no, I dude. Then agree. That's I just, not Earl. Also, we should add, <laughs> Earl got comfortable and started floating that cue ball around for shape. You yeah. know when guys start stunning a cue ball and floating it down table with no rail for shape, yeah. they're feeling it. He yeah. was clearly feeling it. Oh yeah, but yeah. Some moments today, he was playing great. Yeah, he was feeling it until he missed a, a shot he knows he shouldn't miss. Yes, Rick. I yeah, right? I agree. And that and that's probably. That's probably just a feature of a little bit of nerves, wanting it so badly, and getting old, dude. I mean, look, I never understood the old grumpy guy in the pool hall sitting on the rail uh. until I quit playing pool and started running pool leagues. And now I'm old, and I go and I pick up a pool stick, and I haven't hit balls in two, three years. And I know I can whip that kid's ass. He, he I'm watching him. Man, I could play better than that one when I first started, but I can't even beat him now. I get man. the old man frustration. Yeah. You know you can play the game, but but you just can't because of your age, you're out of whatever, right? But yeah, I think I think Earl's biggest problem is he wants it so bad. And I admire that. I'm I'm praying for them to win just for that purpose. I think Earl has changed who Earl is for yeah. this event because he wants it so bad. I agree. I agree. No respect. Hats off to him. Yeah. No, and he's done a good job. I, I mean, it know, breaks my heart. Don't get me wrong, dude. I mean, I sank in my couch when he shanked that eight ball. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, and then, and then when Skyler got on the six and he missed that one, I'm I'm dying on the couch. Yeah, me too. But, but I understand – you know, or and I was, I was out of my seat when he made the the nine ball for to make it five four uh, in his scotch match. Uh, oh, against Shaw and and whoever it yeah, was. Oh yeah, him and yeah. Shane played really good. Right. Yeah. I that was not an easy shot on the nine ball. That was especially with these tight pockets. That was a very doggable shot. And well, you and know, honestly, I mean, I was watching Earl, going, oh Earl no, God, down so kill him if he misses it. Earl dug down deep when Skyler got him jacked up over the ball straight down the rail. Yes. Because that was after Earl missed the first eight, right? Yep. And Earl jacked up over the top of a ball, shoots that puppy down the rail and makes it. That's strong, dude. I, I don't care yep. who you are. Go ahead agree. and set it up and try it. Then get everybody up there and say they're going to take if you don't make it you're going to have to do something so embarrassing you can't live with yourself because that's right. got to be what it feels like to play in front of your country oh right? of course yes no I, i'm i'm hats off with earl I, I i'm depressed that he missed those shots and they cost him that match but yeah hey they all miss yeah i mean but, jesus christ yeah. tyler steyer couldn't make a ball in the break what the hell's wrong with him <laughs> yeah <right. laughs> and i'm and I'm just messing with you. Talk. You, I, you, ne you didn't miss a shot, and you got beat five to two. <laughs> yeah. well, like I said, the one game, two combos and a jump shot to get out, all great shots, and he's right. still down three. Yeah, like, well, what are you gonna do, right? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be an interesting yeah, day tomorrow. Yeah, it should be good. It should be good. I'm looking forward to it, man. 
I think it was in one of from? one of Littman's posts that during the uh, shit the doubles match we went five zero. They're up three zero, and Billy Thorpe hollers over to our guys like, "I'll pay each of y'all a hundred dollars if you give them a goose egg." And Good. Been like, and he paid it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell oh, really? you, man. That oh, was wow. that was nice. Yeah, that was that was that that match was nice. I mean, you know, we're down for the day, and and to smoke Jason Shaw and Filler five nothing. Yeah, uh, I Team agree. USA, that was huge. Yeah, I agree. I agree. No, an amazing day. No, hopefully tomorrow will be even better. It's going to be <laughs> crazy. USA on top, dagnabbit. I mean, we're not out of it by any means. No, of course not. Of course not. No, but you we're know, definitely going to need some rolls our way. Yep. I mean, I'm going to bet very few people thought we would be this close on day, yeah. in, in the end of day three. Yep. No, I agree. I saw a lot of people saying U.S. won't win three matches you know, before well, we ever started. Well. Yeah. Kind of got that beat. Yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> care for nothing those people got to say. That's... Oh, yeah. Which, <laughs> yeah. Those people don't know nothing about pool, man. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> and they're filling up all the pool player Facebook pages. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, what, what drives me nuts is is <laughs> how, how easy these guys are trashing Earl, right? I mean – what three weeks ago, four weeks ago, they were talking about putting Greg Hogue on the team. People were that's, cheering for Greg Hogue. That's my nothing, problem, Rick. Yes, nothing against Greg Hogue, but he doesn't have this kind of experience, right? He's not even a 700 Fargo, he had a couple of great events. And I would love for a guy like that to get a chance to play in a big tournament, but the Moscone Cup is not where you start. I think if you're mad at Greg Hogue now, you guys would have, they would have killed, they would have killed, or uh, if you're mad at Earl now, they'd have killed Greg. Because I thought the, the same thing, Rick. Would have I, been massive. I now. saw on Facebook, and I'm not going to name names, but I saw fa on Facebook people who had been very behind Greg Ho. They had done elaborate things on Facebook for Greg Ho. And saying, you know, I'm really surprised they picked Earl for the team. I'm going, oh, really? You, you know, yeah. and I had said yeah. to you guys weeks ago that I had to wonder if anybody from Europe that was voting for Greg Ho was doing a little tongue in cheek. And yeah. and that to me, that's confirmation that they were, you know. Sure. So, I mean, hey, all you Greg Ho people out there, put up the money. I'm sure we could get – I'll go pick up Earl in my truck and drive him to the Red Door Den. <laughs> and I'll stream it. Hey, can you free. come pick me up I'll, on the way? I'll put it out there. Race to 100, Earl versus Greg Hogue. And I'm going to tell you right now, Earl's going to hurt him. Going to yeah. hurt him bad. Yeah, there was a uh, – I saw a lot of posts like that too, Mike. A few people like, you know, more or less uh, – they might as well have said, or I'm a better player than Earl. You know, this is, I don't know why he's right. on the team. You know, I could shoot better than this. And I wanted to post so bad, yet nobody knows who the hell you are. Right. You know, you're yeah. just a nobody on the internet like the rest of us. Yeah, right. the real it is, even on you know, his worst day, he's still hell of a shot, right? Yeah, yeah really. Like, like yeah, put your money up. Can you imagine <laughs> all the people talking shit on him right now? If he just make a list. Look, Have the secretary make a list. All the money he can make in the next year, just go to every one of these mofos' houses and play them. Yeah, yeah. Post yeah. up. Like, look, look, look. Instant look. millions. You Here's don't have to. You don't need Moscone money. You'll be rich. <laughs> Here's how I look at it. All you trash talkers out there, dog and Earl. I want to see you go to the Moscone Cup, walk down to the pool table, stand there, and tell the world who you are. And strip down, butt naked, turn around, put a towel around you, and walk away. Because it takes no friggin' talent to do that. And I bet you can't do it. 
Now imagine trying to play pool in front of everybody. I'm trying to get people arrested. Uh, I'm, just, I'm, to I'm so sick of all these people <laughs> that think they, oh, I could do this or this guy could do that better, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm going to throw Until you... some shade because it's stressful watching him play. But uh... yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to say nothing about Earl that's not fact. When he's negative, it doesn't do anything but hurt the team. Right. Doesn't help his game. It stresses me out. Let shit go, Earl. Yeah. You should I, know about it. I mean, for me, I I just uh, I feel like if we're talking about stuff, and if the guy misses and hits his cue on the ground, I feel like that should be able to be mentioned without saying that we're hating on, right. on Earl. Yeah. You know, I, I – more power to Earl. I love him, but you know the only my, thing that went through my head when that happened was cue on the ground when they missed. I mean, I'd be really pissed off at him. Seriously, dude. Oh, I, told Shane, I told Shane Van Boning. Shane, he never. In all fairness, he didn't do it very often. But I saw him miss a shot and slap his cue on the rail. Yep. At the bar yep. table, and I walked over. I said, "Do you do that one more time? I'll throw you out of the tournament." Yeah. To me, it's disrespectful to the game. It's disrespectful to the equipment. Yeah. And I think I think you guys are, you know, you're a professional pool player. You should be able to keep your shit together. Right. Yeah. Just, you know. Seriously. Yeah. The only thing that went anyway. When that happened, I was like, well, man, I'm really glad he's going with the 15 millimeter now. <laughs> that yeah. 11 8 like everybody like else. Broomstick. It already snapped. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, well, when your daddy used to beat you with a stick, that's what that's what you'd do is you'd get that big fat one because it would break when he hit you. Uh, <laughs> you get that little skinny on one. That thing would whiz across there and put uh, a welt on your ass. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, well, hey guys, I I just got home from work. My wife's trying to feed me dinner. Uh, you mind if I wrap us up real quick? No, Before. you can't do it yet. What's your prediction for tomorrow? Final score. Oh, it's five seven now. Six eight right now. Six eight now. Um, he's to eleven. I'm gonna go eleven nine. No, oh, you can go away. We'll keep. We'll we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk yeah, about it. What are you going? Ask I'll you. see you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, later. Red button. <laughs> Red button. Red button. He didn't do the outro though. That's all right. We're not done. We can't. Think, we're gonna talk too much. We gotta wrap that part up, and then go on and talk about everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think I'm gonna predict, dude. Man, it could end up. It could really. I. It could be Hill Hill. Well, that's what I'm hoping for. I mean, I'm hoping for it because you know it'll make for a long damn day, but. A long good day of pool. Yeah, I think it's Mike's easy. probably on it. It's gonna be eleven nine. But I just really don't want to say who's gonna be which. <laughs> right. I, yeah. You know, I've seen you're getting a hell of a lot of roles. I mean, and yeah, but no I mean, leprechauns in America. In heartbeat. Yeah, it could turn in a heartbeat. And Oscar, it is yeah, true. Oscar's and I want it. Great. And, you know, Tyler's played great. <laughs> Kane's played good. I mean, they've all played good. I think I think what it's boiled down to, honestly, is Earl shanked two shots he shouldn't have. Tyler wasn't making balls on the break, and neither was Oscar. Yeah, I and mean, that's yeah. really pretty much. I mean, Oscar missed one shot today. Yeah. Right. I mean, it just yeah. When the when the stats come up and it says one hundred percent and ninety six percent and at made. that at that point well, it was literally one ball that was yeah. it yep, yeah. that's it uh, <laughs> that's brutal yeah 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 i mean tyler tyler was a hundred percent he made all his shots he made he played a, the the one shot he didn't make he played a safety with it and then his opponent got lucky he got a hit on it and hooked the hell out of him and then he makes a great jump shot Right, yeah. couple of combos, a great jump shot. Yeah, yeah. it really. You don't yeah. ask so much, you know. I mean, it it could easily, <coughs> it could easily go hill hill, and it could easily Team Europe could just finish it off. Yeah, 
and you know i mean yeah it, today i was trying to count you know who missed what and all that and it just got yeah it, i got better just, things to do with my i'd rather just sit there and watch right You're right right it takes the fun out of it if you gotta do stats but i but i will say when it if you go back and you watch I'll bet if you go back and you watch the last 50 matches that Earl's played anybody, anybody, when he starts talking to himself, the roles get worse and worse. Yep. You talk it into fruition. Yep. 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 Where you yeah, yeah and you can also see people that are, are down here not playing that great, but keep their head out of their ass and try to work on it and they eventually yeah, they yeah. get a roll and then it goes the other way. Yeah. You know, you just got to sit well, there and be old. mentally exhausting, dude. I mean, there was a point today where Earl's like and not just I'm, for I'm, yourself. Yeah, no, Earl Earl told Jeremy today, he's like, "Man, I'm just I thought I was in shape for this. I'm not. I'm not." Yeah. And you know what it is? It's it's the mentally beating yourself up. It's hmm. exhausting. If you stay positive, dude, it's a lot easier day. Well, he's got a lot more on his plate, too, because he's also, like, his mind's got to be running 100 miles an hour over. Just keep it together. Keep it together. Sure, keep it together. Right. Don't do what everybody's wanting. Come on. Don't be you. Oh, no, yeah. No, be yeah. No, I agree that 100%. Be that Earl, Earl. That alone is that. exhausting. <laughs> you can tell he wants it bad. He has changed. Yeah. Food is at this event yeah i got i got huge respect for Earl. yeah and you know i don't honestly i don't think there's enough people giving them credit enough for that you know versus to help with the score right you know it might have helped him be a better person well on day two man he was up he was telling you know i mean he was cheering his team on it was just yeah I, I, yeah i was really really happy with it yeah um yeah. So you guys are listening to Out of Pocket, the bad boys. We appreciate it. This is our wrap on day three of the Moscone Cup. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon. For $5 a month members, you'll be in a drawing every month. And for the $3, well, you'll get bonus material and stuff. So your support yeah. is appreciated. Share the videos. Thank you very much. Yeah. Until next shout time. out to our Patreon John Dawson, Mike Lippman, Jason Luna. He was a recipient of our first monthly giveaway. Yeah, he won a $60 shirt. Well, it's on <laughs> sale. All of our shirts are on sale right now in our online store until Christmas Day. Everything's 50% off. Shirts are 50% off. Yeah. There you go, yeah. Badboysbp.com. Cool. Maybe we should just save that as a clip.